This is sixth part of the video in which we will first formulate the regression equation, regression model, and based upon that regression model, we will calculate over residuals. So y bar. This is basically the predicted value of the y. This bar is used for prediction. Is equal to 27.5. We get this 27.5 by taking the average of all 12 observations that we have studied before plus 8.33 divided by 2. This 8.33 is the effect of A multiplied by x1. This is the first independent variable plus minus 5. This minus 5 is the effect of B divided by 2 average and then x2. So based upon this, uh, we will get our regression model. And now this regression model will be used to compute the predicted value for four levels. We have basically four different treatments, A low, B low, A high, B low, A low, B high, and A high, B high. So first of all, we will put the first treatment that is A low. So we will put in place of X1 here, we will put X equal to X1 is equal to minus one and likewise, x2 is equal to minus 1 and we got our predicted value y bar 25.835. So now using this predicted value, we will compute our residuals. Now we want to know what's the formula for computing the residuals. So residu the formula for the residual is yij. This is the original value or you can say experimental value minus yij hat. This is the predicted value. So we have three experimental value at when the A and B both were at low levels and those values are 28, 25 and 27 and we subtracted 25.835 from all the three values and we got these three residuals. Now likewise you will have to do for the second I mean that Y bar is equal to 27.5 plus 8.33 divided by 2 multiply by now for the second we will take a at high level plus min minus 5.00 divided by 2 and then multiply it by minus 1. Why minus 1? Because we have B at low. So you will get some value of Y hat for this second treatment and then you will have to repeat the same steps. I mean that in order to calculate the error 4, error 5 and error 6. Again, you will have the predicted value. You will get this predicted value from there. You will get some answer from this and write it here for the three, for three times. First one, two and three. And here you will get the three values. Now I will take you people to the experimental values where you can see that A high and B low. We got these three values, 36, 32 and 32. So so right here first 36 then 32 and then 32 so after subtracting the predicted from uh, the predicted value from these three we will get over residuals like which you will have to do for uh, this uh, treatment 3 and treatment 4 so in total you will get 12 residuals oftenly we calculate these residuals using the software just like minitab and then we will plot these residuals you can see here a normal probability plot for the residuals and you can see only one of the values is deviating from the central line 